Let's get you updated on the biggest story of the day, if not year. Former President Donald Trump pleading not guilty to 34 felony counts of business fraud. The former president is still in a New York City courtroom where he's being arraigned. Yahoo Finance senior columnist Rick Newman is here. And Rick, we are watching history unfold. This has never before happened. Just your impressions um, watching this day unfold in a New York courtroom. Well, it's surreal, that's for sure. Uh, now, there's no live video from inside the courtroom uh, where Trump is being arraigned. There are some photographs that have come out. Uh, news analysts have been trying to understand every detail of the president's expression uh, in those photographs. He does look chastened. Uh, it's worth noting, I suppose, that he is sitting at a defendant's table rather than uh, standing at a podium towering over everybody else, which is the way we're used to seeing him at campaign rallies in the Oval Office briefing room when he was president. However, uh, I think Trump will return to form for, before long. He's going to uh, make an address tonight, um, and uh, you know we're, we'll see what he has to say about it. He has pleaded not guilty to all of these charges. He will for sure say he's not guilty. Uh, I think a really interesting thing to look for is um, how rabid, if, if you pardon the use of the word, is, is Trump about these charges? Is he going to be in attack mode, going after the judge, going after the prosecutor? Or is he going to be more chastened uh, than we might be accustomed to, given that um, he is now a criminal defendant? It's a huge deal. Yeah, Rick, I guess, what do you expect that tone to be, given the fact that it could be either or? And also, what do you think this means just for Trump going forward and looking ahead to 2024? Um, if you go back to some of the lawsuits Trump has been involved in, and there have been hundreds, it might even be thousands, if you ever, if you ever read depositions he gives when he is under oath, um, he is much more measured and guarded when he knows there is a penalty for lying if he perjures himself. Um, completely different from the bombast we hear when he's campaigning or most of the time when he's just talking publicly in any way. So um, it'll be just very interesting to note the contrasts moving forward between the type of bombast we're used to Trump, name calling, attacking everybody, never go on defense, always play offense, and what he might say with regard to the judge in this case, the prosecutor. Um, and other people involved in the case, as well as the charges themselves. Because if he says something publicly that he ends up contradicting, and if he's under oath at some point, um, that could become a legal problem for him. So uh, watch for that. And of course, he is going to be trying to uh, take advantage of this for elector electoral purposes. I don't necessarily believe, as others do, that this is a big boost for Trump and his electoral um, uh, hopes for 2024. It's definitely been a fundraising uh, boom for him. I mean, he has been fundraising off of it since uh, since the moment he himself mistakenly said he was going to get arrested that Tuesday, and it turned right. out to be premature, but he was right about getting arrested. I mean, he's been raking in the money. Um, it, so people do want to give him money when they think he's a victim, but I, I, think, Trump's, I, I think Trump has just hit a ceiling in terms of his political support. Um, I think one thing going forward is this is just a disaster for the Republican Party um, because the lead candidate is now for the presidential race 24 is now a criminal defendant. And it's probably going to get a lot worse for Trump uh, before the election actually comes. And the other candidates are folding around him or defending <laughs> him. Do you expect right. that to break at some point if they're going to take him on? Someone has to. We're, do we're that. seeing some some Republicans are taking him on. You've got uh, Sununu in New Hampshire as an example. You just had Aza Hutchinson. He's the governor of Arkansas. He has now declared for presidency. I mean, fair to call him a sleeper candidate. But didn't, I think we did once have another uh, governor of Arkansas who did get elected president. Um, so it's possible. Sounds right. Um, I think that the fact that cr Trump is now formally charged with crimes makes it more plausible that Republicans will oppose him because at least now there are actual charges and in a way they are siding with law enforcement. So if there are any law and order Republicans left, I mean, at least they can say, um, well, y this is the law. I mean, this is, these are, this is a criminal indictment. It's not a, it's not a civil lawsuit. And we're going to see we're probably going to see more cases going after Trump with in, in Georgia with election fraud and possibly at the federal level. So this is just a start. And one might argue far more consequential cases, at least as far as Georgia right. goes, perhaps January 6th. Rick, good to see you, sir. Thanks, Thanks so much for that.